Alrighty, today we're going to take a look at some boots. Um, boots are a pretty important thing to my um, daily life. I've worn boots for the past 15 years and uh, it's time to get some replacements and I decided to go ahead and do something a little different and I got some boots from Amazon. So uh, let's take a look and see what I got here. So we have the Camel Crown work boots and um, they're going to compare to a set of Merrells that I've had for um, about two years, a little over two years actually. So I brought these out so we can talk a little bit about them and kind of compare them to what we got here. I got these boots on Prime Day. Uh, I would, you know, I'm kind of a boot snob, I'll be honest. So getting these things is kind of weird for me, but I said, you know what, let's try something that I wouldn't normally do and, um, you know, just give it a shot. So these boots, uh, looks like they're packaged just fine. I'm sure they're made in China. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go over what we see on the box here. So, hiking shoe made in China. We've got a size 12. That, I think, is the uh, model number. Outdoors Perfection, blah, 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 brand awards. Don't know what that means. Um, looks like something there. Outside gear of the year. Winner of Asian product of the year. Huh. Who knows what that means. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's the box. Let's take a look at the boots themselves. Um, you can look up the model number uh, and look up the specs. I'm not gonna go over absolutely everything uh, because that would be kind of a boring video. Um, but just a quick look. They look okay and they're pretty flexible. So these are not gonna be um, a hardcore work boot. Um, like I use my Red Wings for. These are going to be mainly hiking and wearing every day, general use, working on cars and things like that. Maybe take them to the range or something. So, um, overall they're nice and soft. I don't think they're waterproof. I'll pull up the specs here in just a second and we'll go over them. So these are more of a low rise where the Merrells are a mid rise. I do, got, I do have the same size, both boots are the same size, so we'll be able to compare them pretty evenly. Uh, this set here, I got on Amazon for $36. That's the only reason I was really willing to try it. Um, typically, I'm not spending less than 100 bucks on a pair of, boot, pair of boots, just because I want them to last and I know what I need out of a pair of boots. Um, but yeah, $36 on Prime Day, I think they're regularly 60 bucks. So keep that in mind. These are probably gonna be about $60 if you were to uh, Buy them not on sale. All right, I've got the boots on side by side here, and uh, initial impression just putting the boot on. I mean, it's definitely kind of stiff, which is normal for pretty much any boot like that. But I'll say it feels like it has some pretty good support, um, and my foot is definitely a lot further off the ground than in the Merrells. And the Merrells, I feel like my foot is a lot closer. Uh, the Vibram soles are, I don't even know if I would say thin. They're super supportive. Um, but my foot is definitely a lot closer to the ground than on this one. The sole is just huge. I mean, my foot is here, and I've got an inch of sole here. Where um, my foot actually goes a little bit past this point here. My foot is probably maybe here, even though the uh, rubber comes up a little bit higher. Uh, the Merrells are definitely, I mean, I can't even feel that I'm wearing a shoe, but that's also because they are quite broken in at two years. So, um, yeah, this is just uh, a quick look at them out of the box. I'm going to wear these things nonstop uh, as long as I possibly can until something happens. You know, if I have any damage, if they start falling apart, maybe like uh, hopefully they'll last like six months and I'll be able to do a six month uh, return video. But that is it. This is going to be the only pair of boots I'm going to try to wear nonstop, and uh, we'll do a we'll do a 100% honest review on these things. Well, unfortunately, it is time to return the Camel Crown boots. Oh my gosh! And I am so glad I don't have to wear these freaking things anymore. They are so extremely uncomfortable. Um, it's really crazy. I wore them for a week and I just couldn't stand it anymore. Uh, I really wanted to wear them longer and kind of wear them out, you know, like 
wear them until I had a, a failure with the boot or or not. Uh, but I just can't wear these freaking things anymore. Um, so one of the things that, or actually, we'll, I'll get to it. The main reason I don't like it is there's a couple large seams, mainly one for, one right here, inside the boot. And uh, I'm feeling it with my finger in here, and it is so incredibly painful. Um, it wears these two toes down so bad, and it's to the point where I've worn them for a straight week, and um, just walking around the house a few steps here in the early morning is killing me. Um, so I'm done with these things. There's no way. I'm not going to wear boots that freaking hurt every day. I've tried three different pairs of socks. Socks with and without the seams. Um, all different thicknesses. And it's just, it, it doesn't help at all. They're just not well made. Unfortunately, and it kind of sucks. So I would be really upset if I paid 60 bucks for these boots. Luckily, I only paid 36 and uh, I get all my money back. So... I'm going to be sending these boots back today. They were bought on Amazon Prime, so that makes the returns easy. As far as the outside, the looks, they look great. Um, I mean, they seem to hold up to a week's of use. That doesn't really mean anything. I did wear them constantly. I worked outside. I worked on the yard. worked on a few cars. Um, the toes aren't really worn out or anything. I will tell you that this, this brown stuff is not the color of the rubber. It's some kind of coating because you can see it's already started to come off um, there on the toe. So I don't know really what that is, but um, it's not the color of the rubber. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm sure other problems would have come out of the woodwork, but that's really as far as I can go with these. So I can definitely say do not buy Amazon, Amazon boots. These cheap Chinese camel crown boots just, I mean... Come on, if you spend 60 bucks, you might as well spend the extra 40 or 50 and buy some nice boots like the Merrells. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.